response to that? Who wants to role play that with me? Speaking of role plays, Damon, where are you? I'm here. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. It's hard. I got so many screens up here. It's, it's, okay. it's amazing. Okay. Go ahead. Hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Uh, you don't need to know that. Well, let me ask you something, sir. Would you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars? Um, you know, um, you know, don't you like, I like, I like information. I mean, is there, I, I didn't mean to invade your privacy, but uh, did that upset you that question? I apologize. Why, why did it make you, it sounds like you're mad at me a little bit. What did I do wrong here? Well, that's personal information. You don't need to know that. Oh, well, I kind of do. It makes me, it helps me. Would you like an offer today, sir? Uh, yeah, I would. Oh, okay. Is it, you know, I'm just, I'm just curious. It's a beautiful home. You've only been in it how many years? Uh, I've been in there uh, 10 years. 10 years. You just woke up one morning, said, I want to sell the home. That's it? Yeah, we, we just want to sell it. Oh, I, I know, and I just want to buy it. I was just curious because it sounds like a beautiful home, a lovely neighborhood. I hope it's not a serious situation. No, it's fine. We just, we just want to sell it. Oh, okay. So you're reluctant to share information with me before I make an offer? Yeah, because I just, I just don't see how that really matters why I'm selling. Well, you know, I'm an investor. And if I, find, if I talk to people, I get an idea of their motivation, their qualification, what they want to do and how they want to do it and when they want to do it. So for me, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? Uh, I guess you want to know as much information. Yeah. So why do you want me? Why do you want me to do something different that you just admitted you'd want the same thing? I'll tell you what, let me apologize to you. Let's start all over again. Let's be the two adults in the room and let's start again. Okay. I just want to know. It just seems funny. Is there some, see, I'm just worried about maybe there's a construction issue. Maybe there's a neighborhood problem. Maybe the schools aren't as good. If we can have a transparent conversation, I'm ready to make an offer today. Can we, can, can we try again? That sounds good. We can oh, you're a gentleman. Thank you. Sir. Boom. This is all, if you listen to my words and the way I say the words, what am I, what am I, is it pretty honest what I'm saying to him? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's honest. Pretty, okay. Did I even get him to admit it that if the tables were turned, he'd want that information? <laughs> yeah. Because I've had sometimes a seller will, uh, they, they, will not, they will not give it up. I mean, it, it's sure. a hard line. Sir, I, you know, sir, I've made a decision. I want to do a deal with you today, but I need more information on this property so I can send you an offer right now. You want, you do want to sell it today, right? Or should I leave you alone? No, I, I want to sell it. Usually when I talk, so I'll use scarcity, I'll use reciprocity, and then I'll even use social proof or conformity. Say, you know, Mr. Boudreaux, when I've talked to a lot of people, I buy and sell homes very quickly. And usually when I speak to people, they don't have a reluctancy to share that kind of information. Why do I get the feeling that you're not comfortable talking to me today when everybody else usually shares that kind of information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah you're right. I'm okay. Okay. And I'm not trying to intrude on your privacy or anything, sir. I just want to have a good idea before I make an offer, a fair offer. Yeah. I'm selling because of this reason. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Or you can suggest reasons, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not because you you sound like a sharp business. You're not behind in payments or something like that, right? Okay. Oh, or, or, or maybe a, a job change or something, family change, divorce, marriage, something like that. That's good. <laughs> maybe you're adopting five chihuahuas. Anything. <laughs> See, see, you've got to maintain your cool. You've got to stay confident and you can't react, emo even though you, you don't want to react emotionally. What yeah. happens when we react emotionally and we get that little pissy match? Yeah, we, we, we use Chris as a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, 